Hi, I'm Jeanette McKenzie from Nelson. Many of you know me already as a longtime Catholic educator and one of the founding members of the Catholic Curriculum Cooperative and of the When Faith Meets Pedagogy Conference, and also as a frequent presenter at this conference. It's my pleasure to be with you virtually, and I look forward to when we can gather together again in person as a Catholic community of learners. Last year, many of you attended my session that introduced Nelson's new kindergarten math resource. Today, I'm going to share with you our exciting math resources designed for the new Ontario math curriculum, Nelson's My Math Path. Our new math resources present a continuum of learning from grade one through to grade eight, and they are fully aligned to the six strands, to all the expectations, and to the high impact strategies identified in the new Ontario curriculum. As well as being fully aligned to the new curriculum, My Math Path has been built on the proven foundation of the Singapore math approach. Their long success with math has garnered interest from around the world. And when this approach has been adopted by other jurisdictions, such as those in the United Kingdom and the United States, it has shown improved achievement in mathematics, as well as improved student confidence as math learners. Our own EQAO scores demonstrate that we have many, many students who are not achieving at the expected level. The framework of the Singapore Math, the foundation of my math path, emphasizes problem solving and developing a positive attitude towards mathematics while focusing on the development of skills, concepts, processes, and metacognition. You will notice how closely aligned the framework of the Singapore math is to our new math curriculum. So let's take a closer look at how my math path is aligned to the strands and the expectations of the new math curriculum. The expectations are organized around six strands, and these define what we will teach and what our students are expected to learn. Which strand are you most concerned about implementing? In our discussions with teachers over the summer, most teachers identified strand A, the coding expectations in the algebra strand, and financial literacy as their biggest concerns. My Math Path provides instruction for all the expectations within each of the strands. And you will see throughout our student resources and our teachers' resources these icons. They will identify the additional support we have provided for strand A, for coding, and for financial literacy. Those areas identified as presenting the biggest concerns for teachers. This is an example of how we are supporting the social and emotional expectations. You will see at the beginning and end of every chapter in the student book and throughout the student resources, specific opportunities to embed strand A throughout all the strands of mathematics. We will also be providing on our online teaching center a toolkit for social emotional learning, for financial literacy, and for coding. Each of these kits will provide additional support material for both instruction and learning. So how will we teach? The Ontario Math Curriculum identifies the high-impact strategies for teaching mathematics. My Math Path has incorporated these teaching and learning strategies, the very strategies that make a difference in our students' confidence and success, into both our student and teacher resources. My Math Path introduces new concepts in all grades by first using a concrete material and then pictorial representations before moving to symbolic or abstract representations. This approach scaffolds learning and is the key to the into the mastery of mathematics. It helps students to understand both the why and the how of mathematical concepts and processes. For example, in grade one, children begin using linking cubes to show 13 as one ten and three ones. Then they use place value charts and finally numerals. In intermediate grades, they show addition of integers, first with two-sided counters, then with number lines, and finally with digits. Explicit instruction for teaching problem solving and the use of mathematical models are identified as high-impact strategies. 
Research clearly shows that good problem solvers usually construct a representation of the problem to help them comprehend it, to visualize it. The most consistent message in the research about visual representations in mathematics is that it needs to be explicitly taught to students. The Singapore approach used in My Math Path uses bar models and number bonds as powerful mathematical models for teaching problem solving. Look at this problem. How would you solve it? Did you use a bar model to help you visualize and make a picture of the math? First, represent the full hour with a bar. Then show the bar to represent the hour in nine parts. We'll mark off one ninth because he only read for eight ninths of an hour. He spends a quarter of the time reading the world news. He divides the remaining time equally between the comics and the sports. So he reads the comics for a third of an hour. You can see how powerful bar models are as a mathematical model to help children visualize the math for solving problems. In grades one and two, children will focus on representing numbers and decomposing and composing numbers using number bonds. And then in grade three, begin to use bar models. The math curriculum identifies direct instruction as a high impact strategy. My Math Path uses the gradual release instructional model. Each lesson begins with a high level of teacher support, the learn section. That support is gradually withdrawn through the guided section until students are able to apply the new learning independently in the practice section. So let me show you an example of our student resources. They're currently available in digital only, which will be very helpful for our virtual classrooms, but they will be available at a later date in both print and digital. Each chapter begins with the big idea and a focus on strand A the social and emotional learning and math processes. Students then review their prior knowledge to ensure that they have the prerequisite knowledge and skills before engaging in new learning. Each lesson identifies the goals and the new vocabulary. The first part of each lesson focuses on the why and how of the new learning. It is introduced through concrete materials and a high level of teacher support. The second part of the lesson is the guided learning. This scaffolds the student learning with prompts and visuals to help build student confidence. This is an ideal time for students to work in groups or partners and for the teacher to work with small groups that need extra support. The Let's Practice session allows students to apply and practice new learning independently. In addition to guided learning, features such as games, put on your thinking cap, hands-on activities, and Let's Explore, provide students with opportunities to work with others, to engage in math talk, to apply new learning in a variety of contexts, and to explore alternate solutions. And math journals require students to reflect on their learning, and they often include social-emotional learning opportunities. And each chapter ends with a chapter review using both word examples and picture examples. It also includes a social-emotional learning prompt. The online teaching center includes summative assessment tools. So now let's take a closer look at the teacher resources. The teacher resources support the development of teacher content knowledge and facilitates planning. The chapter overview includes teachers' background information, cross-curricular connections, and, and indigenous connections where appropriate. The skill trace allows teachers to see that continuum of learning so identifying the expectations for their grade, but also seeing what came in the previous grade and where that learning is going in the next grade. A chapter planning guide is included to facilitate long-range planning, including suggested time allocation. And each lesson plan begins with a navigation guide to identify for the teacher the learning goals, suggested time frame, the resources that are needed, and the new mathematical vocabulary that will be introduced to students. Complete and comprehensive lesson plans support teacher instruction and help to build teacher content knowledge. A projectable problem of the lesson is included that can be used to introduce the lesson if the teacher wishes to start with a problem before they begin the learning part of the gradual release model. 
or it might be used for consolidation. There are additional features throughout the lesson plans to support teachers in identifying misconceptions and providing strategies to correct or mitigate against students developing those misconceptions. There are also suggestions for best practices that offer practical suggestions for classroom management and tested instructional tips. Differentiated instruction is supported through strategies to address students who are English language learners, students who need extra practice and extra support, and students who need extending or digging deeper activities. My Math Path has an online teaching center that includes the student modules, the teacher resource, Indigenous connections, Blackline Masters, online student workbook with the answers, assessment tool, and virtual manipulatives and games. As teachers, we have worked really hard over the years, and yet our EQAO scores indicate that many of our students are not achieving success in mathematics. Perhaps it is time for a new approach to teaching mathematics. You can be confident that my math path is fully aligned to the new Ontario curriculum, and that it is built on the foundation of the successful and evidence-based approach of Singapore math. So thank you for providing me with the opportunity to share my math path with you. And may the love of the Father, the tenderness of the Son, and the presence of the Spirit gladden your heart and bring peace to your soul today and for all the days of this school year. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.